Okay, so today it's time for another book review. Today we're gonna review something slightly off the topic of uh, food and nutrition and we're gonna talk about this book, which is Born to Run by Christopher McDougall. Human beings were born to run. Looking, looking at our anatomy, our physiology, we are excellent runners, but most people experience pain in the knees, in the back, uh, injuries, uh, when running. And this is actually the beginning of this book. It, it says in the back here, Born to Run is an epic adventure that begins with one simple question. Why does my foot hurt? In search of an answer, Christopher McDougall sets out to find Mexico's Tarahumara Indians, the world's greatest distance runners, who can go for hundreds of miles without rest while enjoying every minute of it. So this book essentially takes you through Christopher McDougall's uh, thoughts, you know, his journey essentially, <clears throat> wondering if there, you know, there must be a better way. He got injured a lot and, you know, his doctors were just like, man, you got to give up running, you know, it's not good, it's not good. And he was like, but, you know, we, we look like we're born to run, right? I mean, this doesn't make sense that running would cause so much problems for us so he's like hmm could there be a better way so he goes out there in the world looks for answers and he comes to the Tarahumara Indians in Mexico barefoot runners essentially mechanically speaking you know they run with these thin sandals and then he meets a lot of interesting people on his journey and uh, yeah it's just an overall super cool book with him talking about his uh, discoveries and what he finds out and you know it, this is like one of the books that inspired me to get more into running and to shift towards a more natural running style, running more in the way that we're supposed to run, you know, barefoot or running with vibrant five fingers or running with small sandals or at least running in flat shoes so that we can have a natural forefoot strike as opposed to a heel strike. I don't know if you can see it here, but on the back here, you can see this guy, he's landing on his heel, whereas this guy is landing on his forefoot. And when you run on your forefoot, your legs work as a suspension mechanism, just the way nature intended. So you have less of an impact every time you hit the ground, and that's essentially the one of the core concepts that's spoken about in this book, natural running style on the forefoot. But, you know, it's not really about just running. It's about culture. It's about uh, the Tarahumara Indians. It's about people. It's about running races. It's about ultra marathons. It's just an overall inspirational book. If you're into running or if you're just slightly inclined to get into running, I would definitely recommend re reading this book. It is well written. The chapters are pretty small. So it's easy to read, you know, just read a chapter a day if you don't want to read more than that. It's just easy to get through it. About, let's see, two, 300 pages, 270 pages, something like that. Um, casual style, you know, he's just talking about it and telling stories and it's really dynamic. So it's not like a technical book or anything like that. It's an inspirational book and I've been enjoying it a lot. I read it two times actually and both times it's uh, fascinating and even now just looking at it I feel like I want to read it again. He's really a great great writer I think that's why one of the reasons why this book was is so popular is because his style of writing is so good. Hugely entertaining this is one of the most joyful and engaging books about running to appear for many years Irish Times or uh, Christopher McDougall writes with so much ease and heart that and gusto that I couldn't stop reading this thrilling, fascinating book. Benjamin Walls, author of The Billionaire's Vinegar. It's, people are happy about it. It's a cool book. It's an easy to read book. It's an extremely inspirational book if you're into running. And of course, you know, we are indeed born to run. So it's just a good overall title. And, and the Tarahumara Indians, they're so interesting though. They're so interesting. Living on a near, near vegan diet, high carb, low fat diet, you know, based around corn, beans, fruits and vegetables. Um, 
and they run and they run and they run you know they run ultra marathons and they have been doing it for a long time so you know they're doing something right in that regard all right classic classic get it thanks for watching see you around